Life Search was launched on alltheweb.com on May 6, 2006. It was designed to help regular folks find stuff fast. So I'm looking for the Jaguar football team and I've typed in JAGU and we can see that uh, Jaguar is the first suggestion that has been highlighted and results have been returned automatically against that query. I'm actually after this, so I'm going to click on this and we'll see results against the Jacksonville Jaguars. There's two ways of uh, using Live Search, either with the mouse, where I click on suggestions that I'm interested in, or with the keyboard, where I can move the selection up and down and I will get results against the query that I settle on. I'm actually interested in the Jacksonville Jaguars and um, I'm looking for the schedule. Um, so I don't see anything specific here. Um, so for the purposes of this demonstration I'm going to use one of the features which is the ability to drill down. Um, I can either double click on it or as the tooltip says I can actually hit control enter and replace the, my query with Jacksonville Jaguars. Now that we see a new set of suggestions, um, one of which is Jacksonville Jaguars 2007 schedule. One of the challenges that we had with this product was the, to fit in uh, suggestions into this limited space on the left column here. And we developed a, an algorithm to actually truncate in an intelligent manner. First off, you'll notice that we uh, differentiate uh, what the user knows about or typed um, from what has been added, what, what is new to the suggestion. So in this case, Jacksonville Jaguars football, um, football is the, is the ad addition and I can differentiate that. But as I scan up and down this list, it's very easy for me to um, see what is new and what is old, even if it's uh, truncated. So clicking on the schedule, I can actually go to the schedule page and find the information that I want. Another use of Live Search is for helping find words that you may have heard or are not sure how to spell. Let's take uh, the example of onomatopoeia. Um, I'm going to spell as much of it as I can, and as it turns out, I only need to type in three letters to find onomatopoeia, and click on it, and I can go to the Wikipedia entry for it and actually find out what it really means. Along the lines of finding out what things mean, let's just say I've heard a, uh, an abbreviation GFCI, not sure what that means, um, but I type it in and th there it is, ground fault circuit interrupter, um, so I, I can find out what, what it actually is, um, but I also get to see you know, other GFCI uh, items like breakers, wiring, circuit breakers, etc. These are all electrical um, pieces of equipment. Um, Another uh, use of the suggestion engine, which is fairly unusual for suggestion engines, is that of uh, prepending to uh, the query. Um, so if I type in red pill, you'll notice that in addition to seeing things like uh, red pill, blue pill, red pillows, I'm also seeing take the red pill or matrix red pill. We talked about spelling earlier, but here's a direct uh, use of spelling spelling a help. Um, if I type in a word which I was try typing in attorney but it accidentally typed in a, a Tony with an H um, I get the results set against that but there's something strange about it I'm seeing the bolded word is not spelt correctly and then I see that the typical search engine method of saying did you mean attorney so yes that's what I meant I click on that and I see now suggestions against the true spelling of attorney so I could look at power of attorney, for example. Another use would be looking for specific types of documents. So I'm interested in the finding the user manual for a wood burning stove. So it's the more so 8100. Let's look for that. So I see the results, but I don't see any specific mention of a user manual. So I'm going to go to refine and select PDF only. You'll see 8100 at the top of the list. Open that up. And there we go, there's the wood burning stove I was looking for. 
So Live Search does have Picture Search integrated in a limited manner. Um, if I were to look for Rhino, I would click on Picture Search and I'd see results in a typical or traditional environment. Um, going back into Live Search, I can click on this tab and see that. Now, if this was fully integrated and it would be in the future, um, you would see as you would select what kind of search result media you want and then as you type you'd see the results appearing uh, in this results area.